What's up guys, this is Dex and you're watching Dex Tech Pro. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to flash ESP8266 mini Wi-Fi board to self-host PlayStation 5 exploit. First off, you need to just download Node MCU Pi Flasher and the exploit as well. The link is in description below this video that you can download them later. Then connect ESP8266 with the USB cable to your computer. I am using my cell phone's USB cable for this video tutorial that you can use yours as well. As soon as you connect it to your computer, Windows starts to recognize and install proper driver for it automatically. You can check it by just going to Control Panel, Device Manager, then click on Ports to expand the list, and here it is. As you can see, mine is recognized as CH340, which means I am good to go. Okay, now open up MCU Pi Flasher application. Here is the user interface. Click on Serial Port and select COM5, which is ESP8266. From Node MCU Firmware, click on Browse and select PS5 Exploit bin file. From baud rate, select 115200. From flash mode, select dual I.O. And from erase flash, select yes, wipes all data. Okay, I'm all set. So I click on flash MCU node to start programming the chipset. It starts to connect and recognize the board first. Next, it erases the chip making it ready to write our exploit file. And finally writes all the data on the chip of ESP8266. You gotta wait till it's 100% completed. Here it is. Firmware is successfully flashed, which is pretty awesome. Now unplug ESP8266 and plug it back to one of the PS5's USB ports. I mean, better to connect it to one of the ports available on the back of the console that you can just use the front one for charging your DualSense controller instead. So back to PS5. Go to Settings, Network, Settings, Enable connect to the internet. Set up internet connection. And from the list, you want to select PS5 WEAP, which is ESP8266 mini Wi-Fi board. The password is password, which must be in lowercase. Ignore this message, guys, because we don't need internet connection at all. So hit on OK to continue and it's connected. Get back to connection status. Then view connection status. As you can see, ESP8266 assign IP address in range of 10.1.1.100. The default gateway is 10.1.1.1 and the DNS IP address is again 10.1.1.1. So this DNS IP address will direct PS5 to the exploit bin file that we just flashed on the ESP8266 in order to exploit PlayStation 5. Get back to the settings, user's guide and user's guide again. Here it is. Now we have access to the exploit. Hit on OK to start. UAF started to trigger and there it is guys. Elf loader successfully launched which means that the system software is exploited and that's the end of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Subscribe to Dextech Pro YouTube channel. channel.